straight in as soon as possible, come back to what you were when everyone was talking positive about you. I don't have any doubts that you can actually go back in the first place. If you don't. Once long ago, Slavik Kriklevi was the world amateur Latin dance champion of the world. Now he's back on the comeback trail with a tempestuous new partner and a head full of dreams. He's got the moves, he's got the motion. Now all he needs to do is convince the judges at the prestigious Blackpool Dance Festival. Henry, the tale of Slavic Kriklevi, whose specialty, we're told, is a, a fusion of Latin dance and martial arts, which I think in our own way, we, we kind of try and do on this show yeah. as well, <laughs> in our see, own way. You can't see my legs, but I'm yeah. doing the martial arts. <laughs> it, it, it is travails, Thanks. for me it's Speak capoeira and the Charleston, very much so. I don't know, this is this, is this week's glossy doc. Like last week we had uh, you guys talking about Jiro Dreams of Sushi. And again, this is a, a beautifully made, lovingly shot, music slavered documentary about a subject matter that uh, I guess a small proportion of people are going to be fascinated by, which is you know the, the amazing sight of these people being incredibly professional at what they do, ballroom dancing. At the same time, there's uh, such a staged element to a lot of what's going on here that you feel like it's almost like a posh reality TV show yeah. like The Hills. It is very staged and a bit leery sometimes you just thought they are really taking the mickey with some of these scenes but there is a kind of growing fascination with it because of him he's so angry and his very strenuous dancing style starts to look like an expression of of anger and futility after a while and i found it gradually the more i watched the more it grew on me and i thought i think i'm getting this now i think his very detailed these fishtails and flourishes, they don't look like exuberance, they look more and more like a kind of desperation. Mm. And I thought there was a real fascination in it. There's a strange sort of juxtaposition of the high life of kind of yachting holidays with, yeah. with Blackpool Ballroom, yeah, where no. they have the competitions. Yes, yeah, so no, it's sort of Paris, Berlin, Bournemouth, and anything like that. But they, they don't register anything that this is a little bit, you know, this is slightly ridiculous, other than, wow, this extraordinary international lifestyle, presumably kept afloat by a, a raft of sponsorship that we don't really hear anything about or know anything about. Then they're backstage at the sort of ballroom, and then they come on, and it comes off, and he's very angry, but can't express it. And he's sort of angry with her, and she's angry with him. Uh, and for various reasons, they can't say anything out loud. And once this sort of dawned on me, once the subtext of this movie, and it's very kind of dark movie, mm. dawned on me, I, I, I liked it. But undoubtedly, it is very influenced by reality TV. I think it couldn't have been made without the upsurge in, in, uh, in popularity for ballroom because of reality TV. She find excuses and she start to fight with me back. If you want a little mouse, it's a okay. game. You can get it no, no, somewhere. No. Sorry. Basically, Slav was letting me know that he's not sure that he wants to continue and stuff like this. So, you know, this is a bit, a bit strange for me. 